In this video, I'm going to explain how I got into Oxford University to do a PhD, otherwise known as Doctor of Philosophy degree. That's the specific name they only use in Oxford because they are weird. Uh, and the reason I say this, that they are weird, is that because we are from Cambridge and um, I am from Cambridge, sorry, not we. Um, I, I, I did my undergrad and master's at the University of Cambridge, so I applied to PhDs while I was doing my master's. And actually, I ended up also getting into a PhD in Cambridge, and, and now I'm finishing my PhD in Cambridge. So if you stay until the end of this video, I'll, I'll explain why I chose to stay in Cambridge for my PhD and, and not do uh, the Oxford um, PhD that I got in. So this was the program that I got in. It's a um, doctoral training program, which means that the first year of the four years, um, the first year you spend it doing um, different research placements in, in like different research groups or like potential uh, labs that, that you might have stayed on to for the uh, actual research project to do the thesis. And also during that first year you need to take some courses and maybe some exams uh, or some are more like practical courses. Um, so that's slightly different from the PhD that I mean that's just pure research from the beginning hours only doing research. And I, I got into this PhD and I was also awarded a Clauderon scholarship, which will, will have covered the, uh, the fees of the program, but also the, um, uh, the international, like for international students like myself. And also uh, it will have given me a stipend, uh, which is uh, basically like a salary because doing a PhD is, is, is a full time job, basically. Uh, so this is the program that, that I got in. Um, I'm, um, it's an interdisciplinary program as well, so I would have been between like two departments in my case because I, I am uh, and was interested in mathematical biology, then I would have been between maths and biology, at least that was my idea. So uh, this is the timeline for uh, you know how I, I prepared to apply, I applied and, and how I got in. Um, so first, um, because I come from a maths background, I, I wanted to make sure that I, ha I found um, a supervisor in the biology department that would be a right uh, match for me, that would motivate me to like do the biology uh, part of the project and, and that you know will be able to explain it uh, or help me understand it um, as someone like from a maths background, it was very really important for me to, uh, to, to find the right person there. So I ended up having to conversations over, over Zoom with two potential uh, supervisors from the biology department and maybe the first person uh, I didn't feel like that we clicked but with the second person I, I was very happy and, and uh, you know I, I would have uh, liked to do the research with her but um, so, so that was like the first person like potential supervisor identified but I also wanted to make sure that I had um, some contact with the maths department and a supervisor with a more mathematical background uh, and you know to also be part of the research group in the maths department so I also um, emailed and, and then ended up having a Skype call with a professor from the maths department doing like applied maths and biomathematics and and that was like I, I really liked him from the beginning and I, I was happy that uh, you know that that um, uh, we could we could work together, and he was also happy for me to um, like also work with the person from the biology department. So like to do the joint supervision thing, that was what um, obviously like he, he wasn't giving me a place or anything. He was just saying like yeah, if you got in like this would work. This would be like a, a feasible kind of supervisory strategy even though you know we didn't talk about a specific research projects at the moment but it was something it's like an area that you know that uh, we will have on a lot of research avenues that will have worked uh, at the intersection of, of like his research interests and, and the research interests of the um, biology supervisor. So then in January I applied um, um, and so this was like a standard application, I guess, where you have to put in personal statement, your curriculum, but also you, uh, you need to send in um, like letters of recommendations, like basically like all PhD programs. Uh, you need, uh, I think it was two or three of people who have worked with you in the past, doing research or, or know you academically and, and people who can vouch for you in, in that sense. Uh, so that was in January, basically around the same time as, as the application deadline for Cambridge as well. Um, so in February, I, I, I got an interview. Uh, this was during 2021, so it was an online interview. 
and um and I was told to prepare um like a short presentation, I think maybe with like five minute presentation or like you know two or three slides about um a research project that I had done. So this is something that I had talked about in my application in my personal statement. Um so during the summer between like between uh the academic year while I was in Cambridge and undergrad, I was doing uh, I did some research projects and so there was one uh, that was um, kind of relevant to this topic because it was in mathematical biology. So I had talked about it and, and how that had motivated me to want to do more research on field. And so I was told to told to prepare something about it for the interview. Um, and so I did. And also I was told that at the interview, like there would be like two people. One was like the coordinator of the doctoral training program. And then the other person would be the um, I actually like the maths, but the potential supervisor from the maths department, whom like with I, I had already spoken with with him before. So for me that was good to know because uh, I, I knew that I felt comfortable explaining like my project to to him because I knew that from his maths background like he will understand it. And maybe if it had been someone from biology department, then I will I will have. Uh, adapted a bit the content to make it more like relevant for what they would be able to understand and, and their interests. But this just worked just fine uh, having the two of them. And so that was the first part of the interview. I, I don't really remember into like how much detail I gave about it, but you know, it was within the timeline that they told me like that's very important, like when giving talks in general, but especially if it's an interview, like if they tell you you have a time limit, like you do need to be uh, strict about it and, and not overrun it. Uh, and so maybe like uh, after I gave the presentation, maybe he asked me a couple of questions about it. Um, and after that, um, then just move into like general questions, like maybe, you know, why, why did I want to do that um, interdisciplinary program? Um, and then also like he got into asking me more technical questions. So I, I think he asked me about the uh, diffusion equation, which is like, uh, a partial differential equation that's like very really relevant to biology. So I don't remember exactly what in which context he asked me about it, but it surely was something like biological, like I don't know um, how could I use to model something about some bacteria or something like that, and and you know how how to solve it in some situation or something like that. Um, and this felt actually like really nice. I think compared to the interview that I did to to get into Cambridge undergrad when like they basically they want to find your limits and, and so they ask you like increasingly harder questions uh, and, and until you basically cannot answer. This was much more relaxed, like I think, you know, he asked a few questions and sure some were maybe harder than others, but I think it was more like just to check that, you know, I wasn't lying uh, when like, you know, I said, you know, that I had done something on my CV, like he just checked that, okay, yeah, like uh, she knows her stuff basically um and like and, and she can think for herself um but but it felt like really nice in in that sense um so so yeah so i was happy i had the interview and then in march i got the offer uh by email and and then i think maybe on on the very same email that i got the offer i was also told that you know that i had secured the funding through this scholarship uh and this is something important that like in the uk like you can get into a phd program but without funding uh, and then the funding, like you need to get it like separately. So there are some people who do it without the funding and it's not really like, it doesn't look nice if, if you don't have the funding. Um, I mean, obviously it's it, it's a bad idea like financially, but also like, you know, um, it, 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 it is harder to get the funding than to get the funding on the place, right? Um, sorry, the other way around. Like, um, it's harder to get the funding uh, than, than not to get it. So, uh, so yeah, I was very really happy that, that I got the funding. But anyways, I digress. Uh, I, I got the offer in March and then, um, unfortunately, well, not, not unfortunately, I guess for them, um, <laughs> I, I declined the offer in April. And, and the reason that I declined the offer, as, as I promised earlier, is that, uh, you know, I, um, I, I chose to stay in Cambridge uh for for my phd um and you know i i was very lucky uh, or fortunate that that i had offers from both oxford and cambridge and, and another university and and either of those offers like i would have ha been happy to do those phds um but eventually like I, I decided to stay in cambridge i thought it was a better offer for me academically even though i was a bit tired of 
living in Cambridge uh, because, you know, at that point I had been there for like four years, uh, three of undergrad and, and one of masters. And so um, in that sense, Oxford actually would, might, might have been a good change. Uh, you know, I joked a bit about the beginning about like the rivalry of, of Oxford and Cambridge, but I'm sure, you know, when I visited Oxford looks like a really nice town and, and, and I've met people from there who are lovely. Um, but uh, for me, I think academically it was a better fit the Cambridge program and a big part of that was that I wouldn't have had to do exams in the first year or like take some courses when I already knew what I wanted to focus on. I didn't want to do like rotations with like two different research groups. I prefer to just start from the beginning doing um, the research that, that I knew that I wanted to do. Um, and so that was basically the main reason. Also, I think, um, and this is like very technical, but like within the area of mathematical biology, I think I was more interested in, in the broad research area of my now supervisor in Cambridge than, than in what could have become the project there in Oxford with the two supervisors. Obviously, like, I, I think I would have had some flexibility to, to, to maybe direct in the way that I wanted. Um, but uh, I think in, in that sense, my supervisor here in Cambridge is more uh, of an expert in, in that specific topic that I wanted to do. But yeah, obviously the people there in Oxford, like they, I've, I've read their papers and I, like, I highly respect them and, and, and they're like, uh, you know, they, they've contributed to, to my field and, and I wouldn't be as excited uh, about my feeling as happy as I am doing my current PhD, if if not for their you know the the work that they've done over over decades really. Uh, but yeah, that's why I chose to do the PhD in Cambridge. And and so on that note, yes, I'm I'm currently finishing. I'm I'm writing up my thesis. And and so this YouTube channel for me is like a bit of uh, a downtime or like uh, a distraction from just writing. Um, so I highly appreciate it if you will subscribe. It will keep me motivated to um, to keep doing more videos like this. Maybe when I'm when I'm a bit more busy with the PhD. Uh, so if you have any suggestions of topics that you want to hear, please comment down below, and I'll try to make a video about it. Maybe it can be about like you know Cambridge, uh, like the application process for the PhD in Cambridge, or like just doing research as a PhD student, or or maybe you're like an undergrad and, and are considering doing like. Um, you know, uh, options after after your degree and are considering doing PhDs or not. I, I can also talk about talk about that in general. But anyways, um, that's all for now. Um, uh, thank you so much for watching and, and never stop learning. Bye.